Ralph Rice of Riceland Meadows in northern Ohio has always farmed with Percheron draft horses. In early 2020, he decided to switch over to Suffolk punch horses. When he brought the slightly smaller Suffolks home and installed them in his barn, he decided to make some stall modifications to accommodate them. You changed over your stalls. I did. Um, the perch runs, as I told you, are 18 hands and bigger. So <clears throat> what I found out when I put these little shorter coupled horses in here, they kept pooping up on the cement. Now, in, in Hank's case, he's, he's still little yet. but um, So I pushed them back another foot. So my stalls from the front of the manger to the cement curb in the back is six feet now instead of seven. And it's just right. They, they go over the curb. Uh, the urine runs in there. And it's a lot less mess in here for me. I uh, made it bigger manger. And the other thing I did, I lowered them. These are six inch, eight inches shorter than the others. Um, so far, so good. You know, I, I kept a lot of my old stall design the same. Amy, get over. Get over. <clears throat> when I, I put a two inch hole in this top board and I hang a heavy weight on this chain. So as the horse steps back and forth, the weight pulls it in. So a lot less chance for them to get tangled up, nice. get a leg over. And not that they don't, but it's a lot less likely. Even the young horses, uh, it's almost uh, it's a l one less worry. Where did you learn to do that? I, I honestly don't know. One of the old guys that I worked with in the woods uh, had his fixed up that way. And uh, I've done it ever since then, and, and I wouldn't want it any other way. It works out really good. There's five foot stalls on a draft stall. You want them to be five foot wide, a tie stall. But if you go six foot, they'll try to roll in there and then they can get cast in the stall. So we kept the five foot width, that seems perfect. Uh, but the, the shorter length did push them back. Made for bigger, deeper mangers. These guys work together, everything, so I don't have a stall grid in here. At some point we might put one in just for aesthetics. My stallion stall, I did make his a little bit taller just to prevent him from monkeying around. And, yep. and I don't know if you can see, I, I apologize for the manure, but what I've done before is I drill a hole in concrete and put a bolt, then mark the post and drill up in the post and set the post on the bolt. What happens, they get to rubbing or pushing around and then they snap that bolt out the side. So what I did this time, I had my friend make me this four by four um, steel socket. Yeah. And it has the, the pin welded to it on the bottom. So now the whole 4x4 four four sits in there. And just to make it a little bit better, I put this <clears throat> inch and a half angle iron. So these slide down in that angle iron. Nice. And they can be replaced easily. This piece is just to keep it from being able to oh, pop it up out there. Nice. I ran it straight through on the top board. All the rest of them are, have the same thing. So there's no sh sharp edges or anything. This is oak? This is actually beech because that's what they were sawing that day. But it's a good native hardwood and obviously they don't chew it and it'll last a very long time. An inch and a half is plenty even on, the, on my bigger drafts.